Hi guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, I just wanted to check in. This year I made myself a promise that I would have a bigger and better garden than I did in years past. So I'm making a real effort to try to do as best by my plants as I possibly can. Pay them more attention so hopefully I can have a happier, healthier garden. Last year I just kind of like let it go to weeds and it just did its own thing and we didn't really have much success with it and that applies mostly on me. So I live in South Carolina. Um, I, I believe we're zone 8A. We're in the Greenville area, so Greenville County. And yeah, we get a lot of pests. Blight hits your tomatoes really easily. Um, things like that. They just, they happen so quickly and so easily around here and then poof, your plants are gone. So um, this year I decided to try the neem oil method of uh, treating for pests. It's an organic way to treat for pests. Not supposed to harm anything, but get rid of things like aphids and I think caterpillar, you know, chewing leaf kind of creatures that destroy your, your plants. Um, but it doesn't get rid of beneficial insects like bees and ladybugs and stuff like that. So. Um, I guess it's also supposed to help with like fungus and, and things like that that will affect the leaves of your plant which are really common here in the south. We get super hot humid summers. It can get really kind of stagnant. We don't really get a ton of wind. Ironically today we have a ton of wind so um, if you hear it in the background on occasion today is one of the rare days where we have wind. So this is the recipe that I found for neem oil um, treatment for your plants. And you can see my Springer Spaniel going in the background. And I also have Cocker Spaniel Biscuit. He's around here somewhere. I call him Potato. He's like down here, you can't see him. Uh, he looks like a little baked potato pretty much. Kind of moves that fast too. Um, okay, so you need to get yourself uh, one of these plant sprayers. This is a smaller one. This is a two quart one. I actually purchased this at Lidl, which is a grocery chain in the area. I have a gallon sized one as well that I purchased at Aldi. And the one from Aldi was $6.99. So it was six or seven dollars. I can't remember if it was $5.99 or $6.99. And I may have even gotten it on sale last year. But it's one of those big pump sprayers with a wand you kind of spray around. This one I've been using the last couple days. I have a tiny little greenhouse right just off screen here you can't see where I have seeds in there, like a second round of seeds, some additional flowers. I didn't get as much basil as I wanted and like none of my hot peppers germinated. So um, I have been using this to spray that. It has a great adjustable nozzle. Great pumper, great release valve for the pressure for when you're putting it away at the end of the night. And of course it has um, measurements on the side. So this is great, really handy. I like this. I'm actually going to go back and get probably two more to be honest. One to just keep water in and another one in case I have an, any other kind of treatment I need to do. But I'm going to label this one specifically for neem oil so I can keep track of it for my plants. Buster loves tennis balls, so you'll see him running around with tennis balls. Um, and as you can see, my backyard faces the woods. So not only do we have pests, like, you know, just insects and blight and all of that stuff, we also have nature to contend with. So this neem oil isn't gonna keep the deer from wanting to eat my garden. I do have a fence around my garden. They can jump that fence anytime they want if they're like, ooh, that corn looks delicious. <laughs> They're gonna find a way to eat it. Um, and we have also seen big fat opossums in the woods back there, um, birds of all kinds, and I'm sure, I haven't seen any, but I'm sure there's like raccoons and things like that in the woods. So let's get to the neem oil mixture. So this is a half of a gallon. Two quarts is half of a gallon. So four quarts is a gallon. Um, so typically for a gallon, you're going to add a tablespoon to two tablespoons of cold pressed neem oil. I got mine on Amazon. I will try to put a link down below if you're interested. I don't know if I get any kind of kickback if you click on that link, but this was an affordable price. It is 100% cold pressed neem oil, non-GMO. Um, they recommend that you store it in the refrigerator once you open it and it has a one year shelf life. This was a 16 ounce bottle and it has at least 
1900 parts per million of azadiraxin. So if you're getting neem oil, make sure you're getting cold pressed neem oil so it has that azadiraxin in it, which is so hard to say. And that's gonna be part of what deters the pests off of your plants and keeps the blight away and stuff like that as best as possible. On top of pruning the heck out of your plants and making sure there's no low lying leaves and there's good ventilation. There's Buster, isn't he so cute? Um, so we're gonna add, um, not a tablespoon, cause I don't have a gallon, I have a half a gallon. A tablespoon is actually three teaspoons. So I will add one and a half teaspoons to my two liters of water. So let's go ahead and do that. Really easy to take the lid off of this. Ta-da! I need more hands to do this. There we go. Hope you guys saw him running in the background after his tennis ball. Tipped his water over, I just gave him. Okay, so one and a half teaspoons. And when this gets cold, it kind of solidifies. So um, just keep that in mind. Well, it looks kind of thick-ish. It's almost like honey. And a half. Doesn't that wind sound so nice? I'm like eating my hair. It sounds so nice. I love the sound of wind. So originally I'm from Southern California and I moved to South Carolina five years ago, just uh, five years and a month ago. Um, and I do really love it here, but one of the things I do miss from home weather-wise was when they would get the Santa Ana winds and you have one of those just really windy, blustery days. Mm, I miss that. I didn't know that I would miss that, but I missed that. All right, so the neem oil has been added, and if you look inside, I don't know if you guys will actually be able to see, oh, you can kind of see through the thing. It's just kind of floating on the water, right? Like, not really mixing in. So then you need to add a couple drops of a as much of a natural dish soap as you can find, like seventh generation, Mrs. Myers, Castile soap, like the Dr. Bronner's is great. Right now, all I have is method. That's what I've got, so that's what I'm using. And you just need to put a couple drops in this. I think it's like five drops for a gallon, so I'll probably do two or three drops for my half gallon. And this is just to get the oil to emulsify in the water. So I have added my soap, and now what I'm gonna do is put the lid back on so that I can shake it up. Shaking, shaking. You can kind of see it's like turning that yellowish brown all over. It seems that I've got a little bit of it settled over here. Yep. The funny thing is, I wasn't sure what this neem oil was going to smell like. And to me, I think it almost smells like, I want to say, like chicken bouillon. Is that kind of weird? <laughs> okay, I'm going to pump this up and let's go spray it on some plants in the garden. Buster's tearing up a stick. And there's potato. There's Biscuit. His real name is Biscuit. So some of the things I'm noticing are the little discolorations that are on my tomato leaves already. Um, that's undesirable. <laughs> We're going to see if neem oil can help those. So I also have a whole bunch of sunflowers that I planted. And I'm seeing a lot of nibbles on those, and they've barely come out of the ground. And something is chewing on them. And last year I had terrible luck with sunflowers. So, like, there's one with a whole leaf missing. So this year, we're trying to prevent that. Take it easy, Busty. My cilantro also has a whole bunch of tiny little nibbles in it, so I'm not sure who the culprit is, but they're definitely going to get sprayed down. Alright guys, so I'm kind of shaded and awkwardly lit here from all the trees. And the wind is blowing again, but that is it for me with neem oil. Cross my fingers that it works this year, but that is the recipe that I have found on the internet. Uh, so one to two tablespoons per gallon of water of cold pressed neem oil with the azadiraxin in it and then also some liquid dish soap 
as natural as possible or Castile soap uh, to help emulsify it into the water. So good luck, happy gardening. I hope to keep you guys up to date with many more updates. I hope you have a beautiful day. See you soon, bye.